Just cold shower, no hot yep, water. Just cold shower, no hot water here. And with egg, with sausages, with rice. And then it's pulling the tractor. We take down the aircon because it's too old. I see her, project red. Places where tourists don't go. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. So after Hong Kong, we actually made it back to Manila, the Philippines. And today we're on a very special mission because today we're visiting my childhood domestic worker. She's Filipino and she's located in another city and today we're going to catch a bus today. Surprise her. So this Pasai bus stop, I think it's a very, rather popular bus stop here and they have different routes. The one that we're going today is to Carbonat one. I'm not too sure if I'm pronouncing right, correct me if I'm wrong. It sounds like I'm saying Cabanara every time. <laughs> Cabanara. Cabanara. In my impression, it's a rather rural area. So I guess we're going back to nature. I don't know, really. So I have no expectation at all. Me too. I'm just excited. All right, so our bus is here now. And everyone is trying to get on the bus. It's super crowded. So I think it's a first in, first serve kind of bus. But luckily, it's air on this one. Anyway. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Mail on the bus. <laughs> wow, what a what experience trying to squeeze in the bus just then. I think because people, uh, the more people than sits on the bus, that's why everyone tried to go, 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 go. I feel like I'm a horse just then in a horse racing match. Everyone's just like, I want the gate is open, and everyone's just like, it's okay, you can be relaxed because I go first. <laughs> Alright, so the bus is slowly departing now and if everything goes well, we'll see you guys in a couple of hours. <laughs> Alright, thank you. Uh, so I'm gonna send her a message first. I don't know where she is, but from what I appear, it seems like to be a rather it's more developed than I thought it would be. I thought it would be like countryside kind of town, but now there's 7 Elevens, McDonald's all around, so it's quite convenient, it seems like. But this is not our last destination because her house is actually 40 minutes away from Cabernet City, so we see if they can take another ride. Waiting time. Yeah, I'm so excited because <laughs> I haven't seen her for a long time. We call, always call her Kam and Dete, and Dete in Cantonese is like sister. Yeah, so because she's still working for my auntie. So every time when I went back and I see her, I'll just give her a big hug and she'll hug me for so long and won't let me go. It is so easy to see people on social media living their best life and you compare yourself with them, thinking that they have it all together and you don't know what you're doing in your life because that's exactly like us. Behind the scenes of our daily production, our travel vlogs, we also have our own personal struggles. Sometimes with relationship with Alina, sometimes with work, but the point is, that's just life. It's okay to be not okay, and that's why I cannot recommend online therapy sessions enough. Which is why I'm so excited to tell you about today's video sponsor, BetterHelp. BetterHelp is the world's largest online therapy platform. Yes, it is 100% online. How it works is you first answer a few questions, and BetterHelp will match you with a therapist that best meets your needs and expectations. Then you can communicate with them whichever way you feel the most comfortable, whether it's through text, message, phone call, video call. And if the therapists you get matched up with don't really get along, you can always change another therapist with no additional cost. So if you're ready to join over 4 million people taking charge of their mental health, you can use our link in the description. It is betterhelp.com slash projectwear to get 10% off your first month of BetterHelp. Link in the description, let's get back to the video. <laughs> wow! Like yeah, I know. Hello, Alina, finally. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. My son, <laughs> almost as old as you because he's six months when I go to your place and really? look after you. How? You're 22? I'm 23. Oh wait, I'm 23. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot. The same age. What month? Um, September 20th. Ah, oh, so uh, you... Uh, April. Yeah, that's why he's six months when I leave uh, him. Wow. <laughs> and you're graduating next next week, right? What? You, your mom said you're graduating next week. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow. Actually, this bus is going to our place, but I rented the car of my brother-in-law, so we ride the car. Wow. And we have dinner at SM. Sounds good. Yeah, so good, good seeing you. <laughs> so happy. Yeah. Project wear. <laughs> they know? <laughs> Maybe. Because they say, oh, let's, let's see the bike. Wow. <laughs> so thank you for coming. No, thank you for having us. Yeah. Okay. It so was... later, if you want to sleep in our house, then uh, you can experience the province life. <laughs> yeah, that would be so nice. <laughs> 
<laughs> Just happy. Project wear. <laughs> Hello. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Hello. Hello. That's okay. Completely fine. Sorry. Okay, let's go. Adventure begins. Yeah, adventure begins. My brother-in-law. Oh, hey, nice to meet you. Hello. Hello. Oh. <laughs> oh, close the door. Bye bye. Wow. <laughs> Alright, so just now we went into the car and then we had some time to catch up. It was so nice hearing some stories from when I was young because um, she took care of me for three years when I was like a baby, so I don't remember much of it. But anyway, now we arrived at the next destination, which is SM Cabernatuan City Mall. And she tried it and then after that, I immediately told her, oh, it's Nick, and she stopped. Put down. <laughs> yeah. So we're talking about, so they actually watched our Hong Kong episode yesterday. And we're just talking about how our snake soup experience when she first tried it, she thought it was chicken as well. <laughs> because my mom went into the last second and told her, oh, it's snake, after she finished the whole bowl. And she was so surprised. Yeah, yeah I'm so surprised. <laughs> what is your favorite dish in Hong Kong? Like, what do you like? Oh, I like fried rice. Mm. <laughs> you can go wrong with fried rice. For yeah. example, I don't know the menu at the restaurant, so I go to I, I go to... Fried rice. <laughs> yeah. It's so tasty, you know. Yeah. Chinese Cannot go wrong. Rice. That's so true. <laughs> <laughs> so many people say hi to us today. I think this is our first time. Will be first time staying at a Filipino household. Yeah. So we're interested to see how it's like. Yeah. <laughs> so you will experience the village life. No aircon. Use the mosquito net. I think Ooh. you don't use mosquito net, right? <laughs> You only experience. Only in Bali or in Bali. Thailand, in islands. So we actually haven't had lunch at all today. Only the cup noodles that we saw just then at a bus stop. So it's like a small cup, so super hungry they right have now. Bulalo. They have bulalo. Oh this God. might just be one of our last bulalo we have had in oh the God. Philippines. This bulalo. They have yeah. sinigang. Mm, very nice. Sinigang in a food cart, that's awesome. Uh, bulalo and Yeah, we'll have bulalo, just bulalo because for two portions anyway. Wow. Yeah. What do you want? Why? 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 Sugar, 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 a lot of sugar. <laughs> cook that one. Like okay. Syrup, and then mix together with the water and ice. Right. So it's a childhood drink of yours. Yes. Okay. All right. Give it a try. The taste is similar, but the traditional one when I was younger tastes more <laughs> better. Interesting. <laughs> I didn't expect that. <laughs> It's like more watery, right? Yeah. <laughs> and just the hint of vanilla and the hint of sugar. That's yep. why I said the, <laughs> the traditional one is more better because this one is more watery, uh, is it? Yeah, it's more watery. Yeah, to be honest, after Hong Kong, it's been a while since we've had Filipino food, so I'm missing sinigang a little bit. So that's why we ordered a special sinigang the, with thaknet which is like a crispy pork kind of thing to my knowledge that's something we had in Boracay before uh, only for 178 pesos yeah it's that's super so, so cheap. affordable yeah i think compared to of course like manila i think here may be a little bit cheaper actually and we also ordered another sinigang which is the salmon head right there and we've got another sinigang and kare kare over there sinigang yeah looks good so this is sinigang this is kare kare. Yeah. This? Shinigang shrimp. Shrimp. Shinigang shrimp. And? Uh, Salmon head. Shinigang na ulu. Oh, shinigang, shinigang, shinigang. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if, <laughs> this is going to be a very sour meal. <laughs> shinigang dinner. Perfect yeah. in the Philippines. So just now the food was really delicious. It caught my surprise to be honest. The sinigang was super sour, just like how we like it. But now we're getting to the next dish, which is the halo halo. And apparently 
Here in the shopping mall, there is one place that's very famous where Halo Halo is called yeah. Raisin. Yes. All right, so we ordered some Halo Halo from this place called Razon. Not Raisin, just that I present, right? <laughs> but uh, yeah, the Halo Halo here looks very different to the one so from like, Chow King or Maina. So it's more brown in color. Usually the ones in fast where they're more colorful. <laughs> Try my best. But I like Halo Halo is not too sweet. Because if too sweet, the halo halo is like I cannot taste the coldness. All I taste is sweet. Mm. <laughs> so I like uh, just right. This one's more milky, I would say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More milky. I agree. It's more milky. Mm. It tastes like more milk. like uh, milkshake than halo halo. Yeah, it's so different. This one. Okay, so after around forty minutes drive, we have finally arrived the place so this is gonna be the start of our province adventure <laughs> okay wow. home sweet home yeah oh. uh, yeah wow mm. i hear baby it's a cat oh it's a cat <laughs> you thought it's baby What's what's his name? Uh, Raymond. Raymond. <laughs> 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 See, it's so hot. <laughs> you were just like this? So this is the province life. This is a bathroom and Cameron said there is actually no shower here. So you just got to use the bucket <laughs> to <Wow>. shower. <laughs> and also she told me it's just cold shower here. <laughs> just cold shower, no hot yep, water. Just cold shower, no hot water here. <laughs> Can you live like this? <laughs> I think I, I'm okay. I'm okay with, with cold, cold shower. Water? Oh yeah. my god. I've always done that before. I think I'm a fan of cold water. You can the water for you and then you can pour in the bucket. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's Just check out a... our room. No aircon. You see, we take down the aircon. Mm. <laughs> we take down the aircon because too old. We remove it. Right. <laughs> Ooh. Everything is wood here. <laughs> this house is older than you. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, wow. Okay. So you have towel there and we put the mosquito net. <laughs> oh, perfect. But I think if we set up the mosquito nets here, it's my first time setting it up as well. So hopefully you can keep the mosquitoes out because we haven't got mosquito sprays today. <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Alina is looking forward to it. <laughs> I think I have idea to buy some mosquito spray, but unfortunately, market already closed. Close <laughs> already. So yeah, but I think that's just the the province life, I guess. <laughs> Ready to brush teeth. Yep, gonna brush teeth outdoors here. <laughs> we always take from some hotels like this. Yep. To finally to brush into your face, so now we have examples. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Hi. Hello. Okay, now time is 21.58 and we already ready gonna go sleep because today a long day and see it's like this the mosquito net. <laughs> and also according to province life people wake up early here. So yeah. let's go to sleep earlier. So probably we'll wake up with the kukariku. <laughs> ah wait, no kukariku. Yeah. Go, go, go. <laughs> Something <laughs> like this. Okay, let's see how night is going and see you tomorrow morning. All right. Good morning, guys. So welcome to day two here in the province life. And I'm not too sure how my hair looks like, but probably really messy. But uh, yeah, good thing about last night. No, actually last night we didn't sleep too well. So, I feel like a zombie. <laughs> yeah, so we're a bit jelly at the moment. Um, yeah, because so today tired. at 5 a.m. Chicken start <laughs> and dogs. <laughs> and and oh yeah, it's really I remember. <laughs> Let's go and see. Um, I think they woke up really early. I think people in this area usually they wake up at five or six a.m. So really early. All right, let's see where they are. 
Get out of back. Oh, good morning. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Good morning. Hey, morning. Oh, hello. <laughs> now it's daytime. Frank can finally see his color. <laughs> Last night I cannot see nothing. It's so beautiful. Yeah, it's so beautiful. Look at the guys. <laughs> Filipino dogs eat rice as well. He looks so happy. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> right, so this is the province type of car. It's for the... The tractor. Farm. Yeah, right. It's my first time getting on one, I think. <laughs> so we've got the motor, the engine here, and then it's pulling the tractor. Can't even really see if a... Like a, like, like a tricycle. <laughs> but a tractor pulling it. So interesting to see how he drives. It's like lifting it up like this. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> wow. My daughter also worked in Hong Kong before. Oh, yeah. wow, that's awesome. Here, here. Sir, I've got ready for you. That's uh, why I prepared this for you. Wow, that's very nice of you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I uh, last night. <laughs> wow, thank you. <laughs> wow. So spacious. <laughs> it's nice you see our place. Yeah, our definitely. <laughs> a different side of uh, Philippines. Yeah. I think, yeah. yeah, this is our first time in a Filipino household, so oh, <laughs> yeah, it's nice. very interesting. <laughs> That's video. <laughs> That's video. <laughs> That's video. Just say hi. The video. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> This is the first time we have a visitor just like you, a foreigner. Uh... Oh, first time, first time ever. Yeah. Oh. Let's do selfie like this. Yeah, let's do another selfie. Yeah, <laughs> come Shane, back, come back, come, come back. Shane. Let's do another selfie. Wait, come here, Shane. Yeah. We go now. <laughs> Usually, are there foreigners that come here? Yes, uh... Not a lot. No. Mm. Not a lot. Oh. Right. All right, so everyone now is hopping on the tractor and we're going to do a family picnic near the farm later. Uh -huh. It's like a family gathering here. <laughs> so a lot of rice fields surrounding us here. It's quite peaceful. Just love the greenery when it compares to the city. All right. Yeah, we've made it here. Not so cold, not raining. Baby, yeah, so white t-shirt, no white anymore. <laughs> Probably. No, 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 here. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> it's okay, a few days ago I saw a quick uh, stain washing hack on TikTok or something, so probably can get it off. But uh, yeah, this is the rice field here and they've got a small hut over there. And they told me some stories how when, uh, when they were young they would swim over in this canal when there is still water, but now not anymore. <laughs> But yeah, this is a uh, nature province life of the Philippines. Wow! Wow! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> what an experience! <laughs> So we've got a mini picnic here in Sal Hut. Yeah. Got some tea prepared for us as well. Wow, thank you so, so much. So nice. Yeah, we said that we drink tea uh, in the morning. We don't <laughs> drink coffee. From yeah. That one. They prepare for us tea. That's so nice. <laughs> oh, that's from Canada. <laughs> Canada tea. Can oh, <laughs> Canadian tea. Wow. And especially because it rained yesterday, so you can smell the. Um, smell of rain and the grass here, so fresh. <sighs> so nice. Oh, and, uh, and a special fruit. I'm gonna try it first time. I think the only regret I have was not bringing my drone. <laughs> huh? You don't bring your drone? Yeah. yeah, that's the only regret I have. It's so beautiful yeah. here. I should have brought my drone, showing the mountain backdrops, the greeneries here. It's so beautiful. And then this one is I don't know, maybe it's Okay, so we've got some long Lisa here. So this side is the park with garlic and this one is a longanisa with beef with 
honey, a lot of honey. I can see it's reflective. And our Filipino breakfast sometimes consists of rice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah always. Like always rice, rice actually. <laughs> Not sometimes, <laughs> it's always. Yeah. And, or this one. Or this one, pandesal. Pandesal. Yeah, pandesal is uh, the Filipino bread. Ah. Usually eat in the morning. It, it feels like one of those like Western dining, like the. the when they serve the appetizers, yeah. the, the, the bread, <laughs> that type of bread. But it's a Filipino bread, this one. Masara. Masara. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while since I've used this term too. Masara. Do you know this? Masara. Uh, this one? N no. This one is first time trying this. Sour fruit. Sour fruit. And this one is not balut, right? No, no, no. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> So we've got a huge variety of different food here. This is like, is this like proper Filipino breakfast? <laughs> yeah. With egg, with sausages, with rice. I think that's what I see on the menu sometimes. Look, this is the cheese buns. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> I think it's bread, you don't need to add butter because it feels very. Mm. It has soft. that buttery taste already. Mm. Yeah, it's soft. It's... Alright, so this is the local fruit, this one. Vivano. Got some seeds inside. Filipino fruit. Yeah, Filipino fruit. I don't even know how to eat it, to be honest. Interesting. Reminds me of pear a little bit. Pear with seeds inside. It's soft. It's like just melts in your mouth, that kind of meat texture. Yeah, pear but soft and melty. And it reminds me of pineapple. <laughs> this is Justin. Yeah, she was telling me it fell out the night before we came. It's like a sign that we're coming. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Don't fall down. The weather is sunny. Hi! Hi. Welcome Hi. to Nueva Ecija Project Way. Luckily, it survived. And then you can put that on the blood. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> So time flies. I think that was a really good hour spending some time out here in a rice field. It was really relaxing and just spending time with this new Filipino family. And it was so nice taking photos together just then. It was just too bad today. The clouds a little bit cloudy. Uh, it looks very dramatic. If on a sunny day, I think it looks really beautiful. Anyway, I think we are on the way back now after a beautiful picnic. <laughs> hearing here all the family members are just around so like the house behind that's the, the families as well with the one behind the family as well the whole street is family so whenever there's big festivals like Christmas <laughs> you just come house by house by house or just hang out in the streets and in a province it's more I guess like more freedom as well and yeah it's like all village it's family Every, yeah. everyone know each other like big community yeah it's so interesting just like when we're driving past everyone just saying <laughs> hello to each other you know this morning when i wake up i see the cat it's so cute just sleeping on a sofa uh, on a chair right there yeah. <laughs> that's why we uh, so uh, cute yeah <laughs> this cat likes a lot of attention <laughs> so now we get it in front of Cameron's house and all the family relatives they all come over here and just say we just had a really good, decent conversation getting to know everyone but it's a rather big family you can see everyone just sitting at the back of the roof and oh let's see <laughs> you want to stay here outside do you want to see okay yeah why not okay <laughs> you can see the view <laughs> why not <laughs> Do you want? No. How long to drive? One and a half hours. Oh, one and a half hours. <laughs> two hours. Whoa. So now we're actually going to the beach, which is two hours away from here. What is your name? Kylie. Kylie. That's a good name. It's a beautiful name. Yeah. 
And you're so beautiful too. <laughs> oh. Little bit Oi. wood. We need more space. This is the ultimate Filipino family experience. <laughs> <laughs> oh, everyone packed in one car. <laughs> Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ala, nilokatan na natin mo le, gayo dumalik. Seven. <laughs> 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 people in one car. So we're currently halfway to the beach called Dingolan and we actually had breakfast not long ago but now we're getting lunch again. All right, let's continue our journey to the beach. So they could just use rain jackets. Oh. I think it, eventually they gave up. <laughs> so now we've made a quick pit stop. So we have arrived at the area of our final destination, the beach. This area is called Dingolan District and that's where the beach is. And we're just making a quick pit stop here. So you can see there's some vendors behind us. And opposite to us there, there's some cows. Oh, look at them. Aren't they beautiful? Just peacefully minding their own business. Oh, and on the other hand, there, there are some ducks. And also, that's the longest mountain in the Philippines. And you can see the clouds actually rolling in right now. Rainy season. The sky is very unpredictable. I want to stay in the mountains more. Yeah. Then go to beach. I think here is really nice. Are you a team mountain or team beach? I'm both. I'm both. This man's a professional. Yeah. Wait for buildings. Oi, oi. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Who needs a drone when we've got this man? <laughs> oh, look at him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright, the hand. Oi. <laughs> Looks really pretty good actually. <laughs> oh, so many goats. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so our first stop of this Dingolan road trip is this viewpoint right here. I think it's called a Pacific Viewpoint. So we're in this area called Paltik and Carmen's son, Henley, actually has two local friends here and they're going to take us around basically this place. After a bit of walk, we've arrived at the viewpoint here and the view from here is absolutely spectacular. Look, they're building some sort of like wooden ceilings right off the cliff. It's now super windy. I'm not even sure if you guys can hear us, but <laughs> strong wind. But the view was worth it. The walk was worth it. The journey just said was worth it too. After around 30 minutes of zigzag drive just then, just along the cliff, actually we saw some landslide, maybe because of the rain this early in the morning, so it's a little bit dangerous, but nevertheless we have arrived the next destination today, which is the beach area, it's called Pacific Bay, and this one right here, it's Black Sand Beach. It's probably the second Black Sand Beach I've seen in my life, the first one is in Korea, in an area called Goje, but this is Philippines Black Sand Beach. And to be fair, if you look closer, these are not actually sands. These are like small rocks, pebbles. Whew. So refreshing. Come. It's so refreshing, the water. 
so refreshing. It's so cool. Yeah. And I think this is actually a resort, this one right here. So you can probably stay this here. Time. So the sand actually is not sand, these are pebbles. Pebbles quality looks so nice. They're just tiny rocks basically. So there are some big ones and some small ones as well. Yeah, it's like jelly bean in a package. So after our road trip, we actually went for dinner just now and we had a very simple dinner. It's like a noodle dish with thick soup and yeah. then one noodle for 50 pesos. Yeah, 50 pesos, and it was quite nice as well. And the whole family took, took a big bowl of them. And yeah, they couldn't finish it, so I had to take it away. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog so far. And yeah, to be honest, it's caught me by surprise going on a road trip today. We didn't really know the schedule. Yeah, we didn't expect that we're gonna go to a beach and see beautiful view, <laughs> mountains, wow. Yeah, but I think overall it was a very good reunion with my childhood domestic worker, Carmen. It was, yeah, such an experience. And experience that Filipino hospitality, I think. Yeah. Everywhere they go, they take care of us. Like, I don't know, it's just like, I get adopted, <laughs> I feel like. All right, hope you guys have enjoyed it. And uh, like, comment, and subscribe to our channel as usual. And we'll see you guys in the next one. See you, bye-bye. Bye-bye.